Welcome to Read More Plays, the comedy podcast about plays and the artistic process. I'm Ricardo Frederick Evans. And I'm Jennifer Sassaman. This week, we are going to be talking about William Inge's mid-20th century classic drama, Picnic. Okay. Question number one. What do you think is the best thing about this show? I think the best thing about this show is uh, it offers a really lovely insight into mid-century Midwest America. Uh, it's a good character study um, with most of the roles being for women. Uh, it offers it, and it offers varying perspectives of the roles of women from a young girl through um, through an old offstage, <laughs> old lady offstage. Um, and it really, I really think it explores the crisis, point, the crisis points that arise for, for all of them. I you? also I also was really focused on the women in this play. I feel like, you know, we, this play was written in the 1950s and this is a time when I think, no, this is a time when women were being asked to bury themselves. I mean, post-World War II, it was, I know you found some independence in World War II, but please go home and uh, just make some babies. So at a time when women are being asked to bury themselves, this play zooms into the desperate struggles of five female archetypes. We have the beauty, the brain, the mother, the crone, and the spinster. And how they are supposed not just to survive, but build the life they actually want. And some of them seem to succeed, which I was not expecting. Um, and the fact that this play, and the fact that this male playwright wanted to talk about these five female archetypes and how they could truly thrive at this time seems truly remarkable. Yeah, agreed. Totally agreed. We're gonna read up on a lot of plays and talk about them in many ways. So welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Read more plays. Beauty brain, mother concert. Cronester, Cronester, <laughs> Crone and Spencer. That's me. I'm the Cronester. <laughs> Here comes the Cronester. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be on the back of my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Cronester in the house. <laughs>